He is known for his political career in ancient Rome during the 1st century BC. He fought under Pompey's command in the Third Mithridatic War and governed Syria. His name is Marcus Aemilius Scorus. In the realm of Roman politics, one name stands out, Marcus Aemilius Scorus, a prominent figure of the 1st century BC. Born into a prestigious family, with his father also being named Marcus Aemilius Scorus, and his mother Cecilia Metella, Scorus quickly made a name for himself. He initially aligned himself with Pompey, a renowned Roman general, and fought under his command during the Third Mithridatic War. Scorus's military prowess was evident, and he was later appointed as the governor of Syria, showcasing his political acumen as well. As Scorus ascended the political ladder, he threw extravagant games during his time as Curul Edile, a position responsible for public games and festivals. This not only displayed his wealth but also his desire to entertain and gain favor with the Roman people. His success led him to serve as Praetor, a high-ranking magistrate responsible for administering justice. Scorus's reputation as a capable leader grew, and he was appointed as the governor of Sardinia, a province of the Roman Empire. However, Scorus's journey was not without its challenges. Upon his return to Rome, he faced accusations of extortion related to his time in Sardinia. Despite the charges, he was defended by influential senators and managed to escape conviction. Undeterred, Scorus set his sights on the consulship in 53 BC, the highest political office in Rome. Unfortunately, his bid was unsuccessful, and in the following year, he was convicted of bribery during the elections and was forced into exile. It is believed that his marriage to Mucia, a former wife of Pompey, played a role in his downfall, as their relationship soured over time. In the tumultuous political landscape of ancient Rome, Marcus Aemilius Scorus found himself entangled in a web of accusations and trials that would ultimately lead to his greatest political achievement. Returning from his post in Sardinia, Scorus faced allegations of extortion in his province, threatening to tarnish his reputation and future prospects. However, he was not alone in his defense. A formidable group of esteemed statesmen, including Cicero, Quintus Hortensius, and Marcus Calidius, rallied to his side, testifying to his character and integrity. The trial took place before the renowned statesman Cato the Younger, and despite the weight of the charges against him, Scorus was overwhelmingly acquitted. The support and testimonies of nine former consuls, including the influential Pompey, further solidified his innocence. It was a significant victory for Scorus, proving his resilience and ability to navigate the treacherous waters of Roman politics. However, Scorus's political ambitions were not fulfilled as he had hoped. In the subsequent canvas for the consulship of 53 BC, he and the candidates supported by the triumvirs suffered defeat. Soon after, he found himself entangled in legal proceedings once again, this time facing charges of ambitus, or bribery. Cicero, ever the loyal advocate, attempted to defend him, but the tide turned against Scorus when Pompey, possibly motivated by personal grievances due to Scorus's marriage to his former wife Mucia, intervened. Pompey's influence proved decisive, and Scorus was convicted. The consequences were severe, he was expelled from the Senate and forced into exile, leaving behind a life of prestige and power. The details of Scorus's fate in exile remain shrouded in mystery, with little known about his subsequent life and endeavors. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.